Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. I am Heidi. Today, Heidi creates sprouts. That's right. I have achieved godlike status and I can create life. Actually, I am creating the ideal condition uh, for growing sprouts. And um, the reason I'm doing that, one of the main reasons why, is because I do enjoy eating them. But um, the biggest reason is my husband and I live here in Florida on our boat and our time here in Florida for the winter season is coming to an end. And to um, kind of go out with the bang, we're going to take our boat over to the Bahamas and we're going to be there for about three weeks. And we will be anchoring in some places that um, there will be no supplies. And although we will be getting back to civilization now and then to stock up just wanted to be sure that we had some fresh greens every day and I in order to do that quickly sprouts was the way to go and so um, years ago my mom would grow sprouts she would use a big wide mouth um, mason jar with some cheesecloth across the top of it and she would grow her sprouts that way and um, I would choose that way as well but I don't have any jars here on the boat and I would have to buy a whole case and I'm not quite ready to grow that amount of sprouts at this time. So I went online and actually um, went to Amazon and I found a seed sprouter right here. Um, I'll give you a link down below so that you can check it out if you're interested in it. So stick around and I will show you how I grow sprouts. <music> ahead and get my seeds started and this is the mix that I have this is a broccoli clover red radish and alfalfa mix and there is the website in case you're interested toddseeds.com um, and all the information you need to know now they they do come in a bag but I've transferred them to this jar just um, try and keep them dry and I'm going to do a tablespoon of seeds per uh, layer of my sprouter. So I'm going to get two tablespoons of seeds. I'm just going to go ahead and um, pour some water. And these are just going to soak overnight. I'm going to piece of. I'm going to put a piece of cellophane plastic wrap over the top of that. Keep anything from getting in there. Let this soak overnight and we will be back tomorrow. Okay, I have my plastic wrap over the top of this. I'm going to let it sit out on the counter overnight. No need to refrigerate or refrigerate it or anything. Just leave it right on the counter and we will uh, drain them tomorrow morning. All right, well, my seeds have been soaking all night long. And <clears throat> what we're going to do is just put them into the trays. And if you look in here, you can actually see some of these seeds have started sprouting. I'm going to be super technical about this as far as how much I put. I'm just going to eyeball it as far as half into each tray. So um, this is actually the, the water tray. This is where the water drains to. I'm going to put the first tray on. This has all these little holes in there. It keeps small enough the seeds do not fall through. So I'm just going to go ahead and drain this through here and then put in about half the seeds and then just spread them out. All right, and then I'm going to take the second tray, lay that on top of here and put in the remainder of the seeds. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the, <clears throat> the lid strainer, put that on top, and we're going to go ahead and rinse these seeds, and now just real, put the water on very gently. And this, this is just to rinse all the seeds off, get them nice and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and let that drain for just a minute. And you can see the water is a little on the brown side. So we are getting those nice and clean. 
<clears throat> I'm gonna rinse it one more time. And the water is definitely clear this time. Okay, so now all we need to do is um, just let this sit on the counter and then we're going to rinse it with water one more time today. So later in the day, um, right before supper time is usually when I rinse them again. And that's what you want to do every day. You are going to rinse your seeds once in the morning and once in the evening. So it needs to be done twice a day. And that's just to keep them from getting moldy and to keep the moisture in there, in there so they don't start wilting. You want to keep them nice and vibrant. And... Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll track the progress for the next couple of days. Day one, and we already have a couple of, well, a few seeds sprouting. You can see one right there. And giving it a rinse. Just letting the water run over all the seeds. Water's gotten pretty clear. Now keep draining. We can take a peek in there. Is some evidence of sprouting? You can see the little sprout starting. It's the second day, and getting ready to do the second rinse, and you can see how the sprouting is happening and. Quite a bit's going on today. I'm going to go ahead and rinse it. And then just lift that up. The water out. See the sprouts all coming out underneath the, the roots, really. Quite a bit of growth going on with these seeds. that and you can see right there in the middle you got some good height on some of those right there gentle stream and then it really holds plenty we'll come back to this later later today boy have these sprouts grown today just in that small amount of time look how big they are so I'm giving them their last drink of water for the day there they are. lots of growth I'm thinking these sprouts are done because they're actually even coming out through the top now <laughs> they're pretty long don't think there's a whole lot more growth that these things can do. They're all bursting out. That's pretty quick. I'm gonna go ahead and use some sprouts on sandwich. Nice fresh greens. Micronutrients. Yummy. Here we go.